Hi there, you welcome back to my channel. In this video, I'll be taking you through derivative of trigonometric functions. In our previous lessons, we've gone through derivative of radical function polynomial, then also we've gone through that of the products, quotient, truths, and the others. So in this video, we continue from derivative of trigonometric functions. I have two problems for us to solve here. So we know that Generally, the derivative of cosine x, okay, gives us negative sine x, have that in mind, and derivative of sine x gives us cosine x, okay. So, there is derivative, derivative. So, derivative of cosine x maps towards negative sine x, derivative of sine x maps towards cosine x. So, using these two, we can move ahead and find our derivatives here. So d on the x, so d of course squared x over the x. What are you getting? Now you have cos squared x. This becomes a composite function. Always express it as cos x or all squared. I mean, whenever you get any trigonometric function where you have the squared here, you can what take the squared from there, put it outside the bracket with the trig function within. So at this point, let u be equal to what the inner function cos x, okay? So our du over the x or u prime will be equal to what negative sine x, right? Then our function, so let's cos squared x to be equal to y, right? So y will be equal to cos squared x. The question is saying that we should differentiate with respect to x. So, the y on the x. But before we get towards x from here, we realize that this is a composite function. There is an outer bracket. So, meaning I have to enter that bracket. But to do that, I represent what is inside with what? A letter u. So, I know that my function becomes y is equal to u squared. Is that not it? So, I need to find the y over the u in order to enter u based from chain rule. And that is giving me 2u, okay? So once I enter u, I can then differentiate with respect to what? My u with respect to x. Because u is what? Cos x. And that is giving me negative sign x. So simply, I have my dy over the x to be equal to my dy over the u, which is 2u, times my du over the x, negative sign x. What is u? u is cos x. So you get 2 cos x. Multiplying negative sine x, and our final answer becomes negative 2 sine x plus x. Now let's take the second example. Root of sine x. D of dx of what? Root of sine x. So this is the same thing. I have my square root covering it. So what I do is let y be equal to square root of what? Sine x. That's the first step. The second step is y will be equal to sine x to the power half. At this point, I'll represent my inner function with a letter u, sine x. Not always you can choose any other letter. So at this point, the next thing to do is to differentiate u with respect to x. So my u prime is simply what? Cos x. Here becomes y is equal to u to the power half. And my dy over du is simply what? Half u to the power negative half. So my dy over dx is equal to half u, negative half, times cos x, which is this. What's my u? My u is sine x. So I'm going to have 1 out of 2 sine x to the power negative half times cos x. That's all. We can simplify it better because this is the same as 1 over 2 root or sine x multiplying cos x and obviously getting cos x over 2 root of sine x and this is the end of the video thank you for being with me in this video don't forget to like subscribe and share